Yeah, so it's just isn't funny at all. Right on. I know it's not funny, but war sucks. Yeah, you can say that again. Except that's a real thing. <laughs> this is the real thing, baby. That's <laughs> 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 right. Listen up. Okay, Listen up. Okay. This is uh, they had some uh, chemical activity in the Han East sector. Uh, NBC activity down south end. They suspect to get some in here. Make sure you got all the equipment together. Okay. Nerve agents are the most dangerous of lethal chemical agents. They are colorless, odorless, and tasteless. A tiny amount inhaled or absorbed through the skin surface will cause symptoms in seconds or minutes. Exposure leads to casualties or death. When chemical activity is expected, pyridostigmine tablets will be ordered as a pretreatment. They do not provide immunity. Detector patches worn on the CW suit will change color in the presence of liquid nerve agent.
When a buddy has been affected with nerve agent poisoning to the point where he is incapable of using his own auto-injector, you must act quickly. Do not risk becoming a second casualty. Be sure that you are fully protected before going to his aid. Your first priority is to get him into his respirator and ensure that it is working properly. Prevent further contamination by putting on his hood. Use the casualty's own auto-injectors from his pouch. Never use your own supplies. If he is unconscious and showing the signs of nerve agent poisoning, he is in very serious condition and will require three auto-injectors as well as an injection of anticonvulsant. Give one auto-injector in the large muscle of the thigh. Put him in the recovery position. Administer a second auto-injector. Give the anticonvulsant injection. It may be convenient to administer the anticonvulsant into the large muscle at the shoulder. Administer the third auto-injector of antidote. While you're waiting for medical evacuation, be sure that he is fully protected. Decontaminate affected areas if necessary. This casualty must receive immediate medical care. Pass on all relevant information. The appearance of symptoms may be the first indication of the presence of nerve agent. Learn to recognize the signs and symptoms of nerve agent poisoning in yourself and others. The first indication of vapor poisoning is usually a dimming of vision. Pupils constrict. The field of vision narrows. It seems as though the lights are going out. Your nose runs, your mouth starts to water. There's a feeling of tightness in the chest, and there is some difficulty breathing. There may be coughing. These symptoms can progress quickly from mild to moderate. The eyes begin to tear, nasal secretions and drooling increase. The casualty is gasping for air. There is severe abdominal cramping, retching, loss of bowel control, motor control failure, a severe headache, profound feeling of unwellness and an overwhelming fatigue. As these signs and symptoms accelerate to the serious stage, the casualty becomes unconscious. This is followed by convulsions, respiratory paralysis, and death. With an unconscious casualty, give three auto-injectors of antidote and one of anticonvulsant. With a conscious casualty, give two auto-injectors of antidote and one of anticonvulsant. Nerve agents are delivered either as vapor or liquid. They cause effects over every surface that they contact. Effects are felt within seconds or minutes. Once you've established that you've been exposed, you must act quickly. Do not panic. Close your eyes, hold your breath, and get into your respirator. Ensure that it is working. 
put on your hood and gloves. There is little danger of skin contamination during dressing if the nerve agent is a vapor. However, if the agent is a liquid, you must also decontaminate affected areas. When you're properly masked and dressed, you are fully protected against further hazards. However, you have no time to waste. The initial exposure is continuing to act on the body. Remove one auto injector from your mask carrier pouch. Turn the white part in the direction of the arrow until it comes to a full stop. Feel with your thumb that the sensor knobs are lined up. Shake the auto injector, shake forcefully 10 times. This is an essential step. You are mixing and dissolving the powdered HI6 with the liquid atropine. Press the yellow front part against the large muscle of the outer thigh, about midway between the hip and the knee. Pull the red safety ring. Slap the palm of your hand against the red knob to release the contents. Hold in position for 10 seconds. The injector needle is small, it won't hurt, and the integrity of your suit will not be compromised. Remove the injector, pull it apart, put the used yellow portion in your mass carrier pouch as proof of injection. Twist the white and shake the thing. Position the yellow and pull the ring. Slap it and hold it. Feel the sting. Monitor yourself carefully. Vision and fatigue will not improve right away, but within a few minutes, breathing should be easier. Heart rate will speed up and your mouth will be dry. If you can walk, know who you are and where you are, you do not need another injection. Repeat auto-injection after 10 to 15 minutes if symptoms do not improve or get worse. The antidote is the best in the world, and once you have limited exposure, you should expect full recovery. But any exposure is serious, and when operational conditions permit, you should seek medical aid. If you've been issued with the brown and black combo pen auto injector, the procedure is quite similar. Remove the gray safety cap. Do not shake. Carefully position the black end against the large muscle of the outer thigh. Slap the palm of your hand against the end to release the contents. Hold for 10 seconds. Store the gray cap in your mask carrier pouch. Pyridostigmine tablets are a pretreatment. They help the body fight the effects of nerve agent. They are taken every eight hours on orders when chemical exposure is expected. They do not provide immunity. They must not be taken after exposure to nerve agent. Be absolutely sure that the signs and symptoms you are experiencing are the result of nerve agent poisoning. Don't make a mistake. In a desert environment, the consequences of such an error are serious. The atropine in the antidote will dry up secretions caused by nerve agent. If the antidote is taken by mistake, the body is unable to sweat. This can result in dehydration and heat stroke. Be aware that with the liquid nerve agent, the first symptoms may not be very noticeable. Look for localized twitching and sweating in the area of exposure. It is likely that a casualty will not recognize exposure until there is cramping, nausea, diarrhea, and exhaustion. Your auto injectors contain a fast-acting antidote which is effective against all known nerve agents. Your CW suit, so long as it fits properly, will provide you with full protection. The key is training. A prompt diagnosis of symptoms and a quick response will save lives.